Hello YouTube, this is LegoCraft75, and today I'll be covering the UNSC Spirit of Fire, a Phoenix class refit of a, uh, or, oh my goodness, hold on a second. It is a Phoenix class colony ship that was uh, refit to serve as a military ship during the, the Human Covenant War. Uh, now the ship itself was first introduced in um, Halo Wars and then Subsequently in Halo Wars 2, but we've only seen the ship in those two games. I was kind of hoping it would be in Halo Infinite, because that would have been really cool. And it would have actually tied it to the main games, finally. So that would have been cool, but no. No, 343 uh, decided not to do that. I don't know why. Would have been a really good idea. Then again, these days, they're just struggling in general, so. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is the ship. Looks pretty cool. I got both the New York set there as a size reference and a can of Monster Energy Drink to give you a good idea of how big this ship is. I'm gonna use this for the next couple of videos for the other ships. Let's see, this is a uh, 16 ounce can, so that gives you a good idea of how big this ship is, as well as how big it is compared to, <laughs> to the New York set I have. So obviously I added some guns up top here to serve as a, you know, hatchel armament as well as some secondary guns as well. Um, these in the game kind of like can retract, but they only have them on the top section. And of course, with this model, I only had them for the top section too, but in the digital model or digital remake I did, I decided to add some down here as well to just, you know, fully flush out its armament system. Because, you know, you got to have guns for all six degrees of freedom. Not so many towards the rear, but that's okay. See here. A couple of mismatched pieces, some colored pieces, because that was like all I really had on deck to use for this. But that's okay. So there we got the little lower conning tower. Oh, and under here you can see the little um, landing ships that the ship has from the game. That set up the bases and whatnot. So yeah, we got those. There's a little hump back there. I think it's supposed to be a little bit taller, but I think what I did here it looks just fine. In my opinion. I could be wrong, but you know. Um, here are the engines. Now in this version I did I did kind of goof up how the engines are supposed to be placed on it. Dust that off a little bit. They're technically supposed to be a little lower, which I fixed in the digital uh version I made. But still I still got them here and they look pretty cool. Got that back part built as well. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah. Of course, I got a little uh, Rock Raider symbol on that because, you know, I love the Rock Raiders. And, you know, of course, it's a drill, so I love that, too, because of Gurren Lagann. But, yeah, nice front view there of the, little, of the three Mac guns in the front. Nice top-down view from here. And, yeah, here I'll go and show you the uh, digital model as well. There, let's just pull it up real quick. Nope, that is the wrong one. Hold on. There we go. Kind of goofed that up a little bit. That's okay. So let's see. There we go. And here's the version I have in the uh, computer. Very similar, but a lot more sleek, as well as, you know, filled in with uh, tile pieces rather than uh, plates, because, you know, that just makes it look better. I got this section designed this way just to add some more detail. Same layout of guns and whatnot for the added bit of detail there, too. Here's the engine section, looking a little bit different. Try to modify that. I didn't, and there are the uh, bottom guns right there. I didn't uh, add in that little gap that was down here for the ship. Um, I plan on doing that in the future, maybe, but it's like, I figured I might as well just fill it in for now because there's a simpler and just, I don't know, makes the ship a bit more full looking. Yeah, for what I like. Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, there it is. Spirit of Fire and all of its 
digital glory. And yeah. Um, this one shouldn't take too long to make instructions for either. It's just, again, another case of yeah, it's just going to be time consuming. So yeah. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.